Hello everyone, I'm Shane Cassidy. We all know what pollution is, right? Dirty, trashy, icky stuff that damages environments. Like oil, litter, or CO2. But what if I told you there was a non-tangible form of pollution that is affecting our environments today? That for a form, you may ask, is light pollution. Oh, what? Light pollution? You may be thinking just, what? Leaving your lights on so I can block out the pretty night sky? Pfft, big deal. Correction! It is a far bigger deal than you can possibly imagine. Wanna see why? Follow me! We humans need lights at night so we can uh, see where everything is. For instance, cars at a parking lot at night. But did you know that overexposure to these kinds of lights can actually increase the risk of cancer in humans? Not to mention the fact that it's just a big waste of resources and energy that's extremely valuable to us. But hey, we humans have never made a mistake that extreme, have we? Moving on. The definition of light pollution can be paraphrased as the extravagant expense of light as a human resource. One of the most common consequences of light pollution is obscuring the night sky, making familiar constellations unclear to the naked eye. Now so far we've gone over the ways of how light pollution can affect us human beings. But what about how it can affect these poor cute little fluffy animals? Hear me! As if hindering the human race wasn't bad enough, light pollution causes its greatest detriment to animals and their ecosystems. By obstructing the night sky and creating sources of artificial light, it confuses and misguides the animals' migration patterns, threatening human property and even these animals' lives. Take a look at this woodland polar bear, for example. Okay, Mama Bear always said to look both ways before- Oh, this is a pretty light! I gotta go after it! In short, that is the damage that light pollution can do, and what it is. And yes, there is a way to prevent it, and I will show you exactly how you can prevent it. If you don't need a light on in your house, well, don't use it. In fact, all lights in a house should be turned off if not being used. This strategy works excellently for business owners also, because when a business has its lights on at night, it can only attract attention to these guys right here. <laughs> Not real Lego men, you know, burglars, right? In short, that is what you can do to prevent light pollution and to help create a cleaner world. This is Shane Cassidy wishing you a happy and environmentally friendly holiday.